I'm trying to build a sensor to detect the pheromone of a female moth, of a species that is forbidden here in New Zealand. And it's very common everywhere else in the world, except here, which doesn't exist. There has been one incursion in the past, they spent like $10 million, I believe, to spray the area to get rid of one female. And it's uh, um, a species that comes from Japan, which is a place of big trade with uh, New Zealand. So there's high, a lot of interest in developing a sensor to detect these females. So the pheromone sensor is supposed to act just like the male moth's antenna. So the male moths try to find the pheromone of the female, so it can try to find a female. And what we did with the sensor, we adopted a biomimetic approach. So we try to replicate what the male moth does with its antennas in an artificial system. And uh, that's basically what I'm trying to do. I steal the proteins from the male moth and I put them in an artificial sensor so they can detect the pheromone for me. The idea of this sensor, because right now they have uh, static uh, traps to try and trap the males. So they use the female's pheromone in traps to try and attract males so that if there is one, it will get stuck there. Um, the idea of this is the other way around. So what we're trying to do is create a sensor that is small enough and portable enough that we can put on an AUV, fly it around and actually act like a moth looking for the female. That's the final goal.